Watch out, dark and darker. There's a new guy in town. Dungeonborn is the game we're playing today, and I'm coming on to see if it's better or worse than the dungeon crawler, dark and darker, as the games seem very similar. And yeah, I wanted to come and check it out whilst it's available in the alpha test on the next Fest Steam event. Um, so yeah, here we are at the lobby. You can see me chilling out there, sick. Oh, what's up, gorgeous? With a ginger beard, represent gingers everywhere. Um, similar sort of vibe to Dark and Darker, but I, I'll be honest, I kind of prefer this kind of setting. Bit more chill, more spaced out, bit more of a landscape going on. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, you've got some tabs going on here. Let's check them out quickly. So obviously have your merchant. This is the guy or girl that you're going to be kind of selling your stuff to after all your looting and tooting. You've got this Harry Potter looking guy here, um, your alchemist. Um, portions can be bought here, which are coming very handy. Um, and then, yeah, didn't see you down there, but this guy is a bit of a blacksmith. He can like forge gemstones into your weapons, armor. There's a lot of crafting going on in this game, something not as common in Dark and Dark when I last played. So that's cool to see new features. So they are building on the idea, not a straight copy. And then you've got the trade. Um, don't fully understand this just yet, as I don't think it's the exact same as the marketplace. It's the two separate tabs. So not sure if this is player player trading or not. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick show of what there is on the lobby in the menu. And then they've got some events here coming soon. Daily rewards, which is nice. Healing portions, gonna need a lot of them, boys. Um, and stuff coming up in the future. Bounties, trials, all of that nice stuff. And then, yeah, some more daily gifts there. Gifts from the Merchant Guild, whoever the hell they are. And um, nice, got some daily quests on the left side too. Game modes here. Um, yeah, you can have the team mode with a classic free, like darker and darker, easy and hard. You've got a part with an item to get into hard mode, something you can loot in your runs. Then we've got the classic solo mode, easy and hard options again. And then we even have this free v free PVP arena, which I'm really excited to try out. Um, big fan of PVP, and that's like dedicated PVP. You also have some custom and training rooms to practice your dueling. Um, which again, I've not seen in Dark and Dark unless they've added that since I last played. But um, enough chatting, let's get into a game, show you what it's all about. Um, just before I do, quick character list. So yeah, you've got your classics, like your fighter, that's the one I've chose because I like to hide behind a shield because I suck. Um, then you've got your like classic rogues, pyromancers, stuff like that. Each one comes with two skills, five passive skills. As you can see here, there's the rogue, swordmaster, Looks pretty cool. Pyromancer, fire always nice. Death Knight, I was debating between this and fighter, but I decided to go for the fighter. As yeah, you know, shield, crutch, love it. And a Chiromancer too, yeah, so probably check them out after. Nice lid, mate. Um, hairlines, yeah, seen better days, but we move. Gingerbeard repping once again. Um, I'm going to shut up now and move into a game. So we've got a loading screen here, it doesn't take too long to get into match. Then you get put in the classic lobby like Dark and Darker 2. I never get enough time to even experience this as it's so quick to get a game. Um, and this pretty looking fellow there, straight in, straight looting, no messing about. Open the door, um, we move through here. We have the goblins, classic again. These goblins are a lot easier than on Dark and Dark, I tell you that for free. This one doesn't even want to attack me. I'm going to... Still smash his head in though, doesn't know why he's smiling as, yeah, he's dead. But you know, um, Looty Tute. I really like the kind of setting you're in, this nice big castle kind of area. Okay, these are a bit more troublesome with a crossbow, the guys don't miss. Um, still gonna smack him to pieces though. Get his buddy, see you later mate. Chop to the head, Nanite John. Um, Looty Tute, and yeah, a lot of bad, bad loot, but I just wanted to kind of show you the kind of stuff these guys are dropping. But yeah, very similar to Dark and Darker with the goblins. I'm getting a bit lost in the source then. This guy, or oh, you probably recognize him too, but thankfully he does not burp out that stinky fart juice like he does on Dark and Darker. I'm happy about that because I hate that stuff. Um, oh, another man in town. Oh, we've got our first sign of pvp classic rogue coming from behind that's what she said i'm um, trying to run away here used one of my skills which i can dash but it's too late for me there boys well that was a quick one 
back to the lobby, back into another game, as I feel like I didn't get to show you much there, thanks to Mr. Sneaky Boy. Um, yeah, straight into some looting, you know, let's go. These things can't figure them out, they just don't attack you, they just mess around. They're some sort of bounty, so do kill them, they do drop a little bit of loot. Um, but yeah, they just look like little Marge Simpsons to me. Oh, this boy definitely does attack though, watch out the double swing. Big boy rats. Who you calling big boy, bruv? The head, yep. Good night. The PvE is a lot easier than Dark and Darker, so if you're not the most gifted gamer like myself, then you might prefer this game, so definitely give it a bash. Dungeon Bone and the easier version of Dark and Darker is how I would summarise it so far. Little Margin Simpson there, just gonna let her chill. Um, crossbow, love this. So if the shield isn't enough of a crutch, get the crossbow out. Oh, missed. Nice shots there straight over his noggin um but yeah you can just run away and kind of slowly drill them down it's nice and easy for you less abled gamers like myself so yeah i've been really liking the crossbow like i say just look at the little green marge simpson down there she just does not want to attack but i'm going to kill her anyway and then you see in the left we've got some sort of bounty plus one there so there is a purpose to that i've not fully figured it out yet probably some sort of daily quest or rewards for that Oh, you recognise these bad boys. Again, a Dark and Darker specialty. I absolutely hate these in Dark and Darker. Always lose health to him, but on this, not a problem. Move through here. We've got our bandages, our health pots, classic. Get quite a lot of them. This is your ultimate, or not your ultimate, but one of the abilities you get. The Q button where you do this nice little spinny majig with your two sword, your two-handed sword, sorry. You need a two-handed sword to do that, but it's, it's kind of OP, I can't lie. The fighter feels very strong on this game. You'll see more of that in the PvP near the end of the video. Ooh, who's this boy hiding in the corner? I'm in the corner, watching you kiss her. Boom, one to the head. And this is like some big tree guy. Looks a bit like a boss to me, but honestly, I'm not that sure. So we're going to slowly but surely... Pick him off with the old crossbow because, yeah, we're scared to get close to anything right now as we're just, yeah, not geared and just trying to rat out with as much loot as possible. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know the difficulty of this, guys. Yeah, I'm not getting very close to him, but this is the only time I've seen this mob. So maybe it's like a, I don't know, let's see what the loot's saying. Absolute trash, classic. But these grenades, all these portions I've just picked up are cool. Um... You will see them when I use them shortly. Again, not something I remember using that much in Dark and Darker. These like more grenade type portions. But that's probably been added in there by now. Again, I haven't played the game in maybe like four or five months. So it might be different. So do forgive me on that. Let me know in the comments if Dark and Darker have added some of these features. Um, yeah, just bandaging up here. Got to get that health before we move inside. I feel like inside the difficulty is quite a bit more difficult. And open the door there. It took me a while to figure out you need to open these doors as I was trying to smash them down with the holes. A couple of boys up to no good. Started making trouble in the neighbourhood. So I just slashed them down with the old Q. Very reliable, very OP. Loot up these boys, get absolute naff all as always. Probably just going to take the crossbows. I like that as it makes the game easy and that's what we like. Easy like a Sunday morning. And um, Looty Tooty once again. See if we got out good in here. Probably not. Loot's a bit a bit non-generous move on to here i saw this guy looks like a classic kind of mob few shots not a problem realize the guy hits like a brick and yeah he had a lot of help so i did the old crossbow trick this is a bit of boring and um, content for you here so i'll probably speed this up as this guy almost killed me a few times i had to take it really slow but i was interested to see what he dropped and kind of wanted to show you the loot of the kind of bigger mobs on here as i, I don't think this guy's really a boss not sure though do let me know in the comments if they can't, this guy is considered a boss seen a couple so far like big ogres or a cyclops that you will see on the loading screen which i think is considered a bit of a boss watch this oh lebron james maybe not absolute nightmare missed my but you see in the distance yeah it kind of sets a fire they are nice um, there's also an electric one too or a lightning one which i like to use you'll see me use that a little bit later um yeah but this kind of took its sweet sweet time especially since i kept missing not getting headshots and whatnot but the crossbow is a good way to kind of kite down 
these harder hitting mobs as you see he's taking like a quarter of my health each time so I wanted to play it really safe with this one um, I'm just gonna fast forward now as we don't need to watch all this one last shot nanite to you time for bed let's see what he's got oh not seen that before an emerald that's something that like gets put on your weapons or your armor to boost its stats like a gemstone so the little short guy aka the blacksmith we saw earlier can probably help us out there nice and as if you didn't see the trained eye so i saw in my peripherals we have a little portal yes blue too exactly like dark and darker so we are going to pop this open like the rats that we are. Oh, he wants to play just before I go. I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of red cricket. I don't know. But yeah, easy enough. These do take a little while. Again, like dark and darker. So do be careful. Just going to pop that and get out. And yeah, head back to the lobby and show you guys some of the 3v3 PvP arena, which I'm hyped about. Um, as that's something, again, I don't think features on dark and darker. Or it isn't the last time I played... So definitely interested to check that out. Fortunes favour the bold. So yeah, back to the lobby now. Yeah, we're going to head over to the 3v3 arena team deathmatch. And there's like some added quirks to this. As you're probably thinking, do I take in my stash? Do I lose my loot? Nope, don't be scared. This is risk free. You are given like 100 seconds to loot up. This first chest here is pure jewellery. So find some things that give the best stats for your character. Two types of necklaces, two rings as well. So you need two rings and a necklace. So quickly, I'm just looking for stuff that has strength. I've not really done my research on the theory building side of things, so I'm not sure what's uh, kind of best in slot. But yeah, strength sounds good. I hit hard, they die fast. It's basically all I kind of know. So I grab them when I can find them, maybe some resistance too. But the, you want to be fast on this because the game just starts and they will come and start killing you so reaching these chests i always pick a chest with stuff i can't use find the armor get all that so this is a nice way to get to play with the high tier gear without being good at the game which i love um so yeah get some blues choose the ones with the best stats equipped and you are good to go that's basically it um not sure if i like this feature it's very anxiety inducing very loot everything as fast as you can or you will die mode um it's quite i don't know I don't know how to feel about it if you played this already how do you feel about this feature i've been watching a few streamers who didn't enjoy it that much especially after a few games it gets a bit tedious um but it, it's interesting it's a a new take on something i've not really seen before in a game don't think dark and darker feature this because i don't think they have an arena mode Weapons too, I've been really liking the two-handed longsword, especially because it allows me to use that OP kind of windmill move. You can't do that without it. And then I run crossbow on my second hand because, as you will see, crossbow is very OP in PvP and it gives you that range option, especially against some pesky pyromancers. So again, just picking one with the best perks or what I think to be the best perks before we get ready for battle boys so i am now geared out my tree courtesy of dungeon bone and yeah it's looking nice don't forget to grab some bolts gonna need something to shoot out that crossbow and we have yeah some sort of pyromancer on our team nice nice mix of abilities there i've only played the game solo so i'm not sure what the kind of best um team members to mix together is just yet but yeah, the maps aren't too big. Didn't even see him there. I'm blind as a bat, but I got off with that nice crossbow headshot. That's my dash move there. That's the E button. Close that area. Big heavy strike where you kind of like lean into him by holding in the left, left stick. Not the left stick, the left click. Oh, we have another fighter, I think. Maybe a sword master because I don't know what that ability is. That green around him kept causing me damage. Some sort of fart shield. And didn't figure that out until halfway through this game, as you'll see. And yeah, we'll get straight back into it. And it basically it's just a standard team deathmatch apart from that initial bit where you've got to loot up. You don't get to keep the loot afterwards, unfortunately, but I think that'd be too OP if you did. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you how a game kind of pans out. I've been really enjoying this. Crossbow, as you can see, hits super hard, especially if you get them headshots. You have the parry option as well on the fighter with a two-handed sword, which is quite easy, I think. I think you just hold it. You don't need much time in there to block shots. 
um, but obviously it's not as strong as the shield. They're just in the spawn area now. You do get spawn protection for quite a long time. That's when they like glittering, looking all fancy. So you don't want to shoot them then. You want to wait for them to come out a little bit. He's got that fart shield, which is a little OP, and I still didn't realise it was causing me damage at this point. But I went in for the kills and chopped his head off anyway. Absolute lad. Um, yeah, got frozen there. That's probably the Chiromancer or some, some guy. Pick up my crossbow dash with the spawn protection does not work. Again, took me a few tries to figure that out as I'm not the most sharp tool in the box. Crossbow, tested out his range, absolute naff. Dropped off there, hit a stair. Um, still looking on that shrine far to the left. Oh, smoke screen. Watch this for some absolute MLG gamer players here. Oh, I'm in trouble. Gonna use this in like a state of panic. Miss every shot. Gonna pull out that smoke screen to get away nicely. Oh no, chopped to my head, absolute fail. That's why I don't play Rogue, because I'm not the best when it comes to that kind of stuff. This guy is, yeah, he's carrying their team right now. We're on 6-6 six, six, as you see at the top. I'm gonna change my strategy up a little bit. Probably not, probably just gonna still charge whilst on spawn protection and it not work. Running with a crossbow, it does take a long time to reload, so do be wary of that. Big heavy slash, missed completely. The guy's on fire, looking toasty. Oh, Q, absolute OP move. Miss him completely, he freezes me up. Oh, I dash out of it, absolute god gamer, and slash him. Nice and squidgy. I feel like the fighter is pretty OP right now. Um, Soul Master looks good too. This is from a few games, so don't take my opinion as gospel, but yeah, the me melee classes are looking pretty strong right now. Um, really liking the two sword crossbow combo. Look at them parries. I am Zoro in the flesh. Gonna finish this guy off with a crossbow maybe. No, I'm gonna get frozen to a pulp. A little bit of lag there. Don't worry, it's an alpha test boys. You've got to give them a break. Give the developers a break. Okay, this is the healing. So you just press pray. I mean, I'm not religious, but I love free health. Really struggled with the fact that I kept pressing right click here that isn't a fault of the game that's just me being an absolute imbecile get my health up it's like charges over time it's quite fast so it's a nice little feature to heal up as your health does not regenerate over time so it's quite important to get that especially if you want to get a nice little kill streak going and stop dying to this sword master with the, the dangerous fart shield there's sat in spawn guy afk shock victory laughing absolute god gamers and yeah that's the pvp arena it's pretty nice look at me with a 1.5 kd if any like organization wants to recruit me for gaming i'm i'm open to offers um yeah and that's about it from now for the first impressions of dark and i mean blood i mean dungeon bone struggled there got all the names wrong but yeah as you can see it's very similar to dark and darker Probably better suited to you if you struggle with Dark and Darker. I don't really like the time to kill on Dark and Darker or the last time I played it, I didn't enjoy it. I felt PvP was just frustrating as you died so quickly, especially to very high geared players, which I felt like I ran into a lot. Maybe the difference here is that the players aren't that geared yet, so it's not as bad. Um, but even in that game or where everyone's very high geared, it's quite balanced, time to kill feels nice. You don't run into PvP as often as Dark and Darker in the dungeon crawling mode, which I kind of like too. PvE is easier. Um, so overall, I'm really enjoying it and it's typical me getting kind of hooked on a game that's in alpha uh, as I won't be able to play it again soon. So I will be having severe withdrawal symptoms, um, which is, yeah, not good. But yeah, let me know if you played this game what you thought of it do you think it's better than dark and darker do you think it's gonna cause them some trouble or do you think it's completely different and a terrible terrible game and i should stop comparing the two let us know in the comments and yeah if you've enjoyed the video please feel free to hit subscribe i will be doing more dungeon born content in the future and other gaming first impression videos so you don't have to waste your time downloading games that suck um, so you can get the quick download on a game whether it's worth playing or not I'm going to be doing that a lot on Xbox Game Pass games and then big interesting titles on PC but yeah if you enjoyed the video please feel free to hit subscribe this has been Sickle Owl. I will see you in the next video peace